Hey, hey, it's Dana here with Love Solo Flowers, and we are doing a tutorial, and it's a holiday one, so I'm so excited because I just love the holidays, and they're so much fun, and especially crafting at the holidays is so much fun. So that is what we are doing tonight. Um, I'm going to show you all the supplies I got going on here. First, I just want to let you know we are having a sale, and it is up to 70% off. You do not need to use any codes or anything like that. Uh, the website is lovesolaflowers.com and uh, everything's already discounted there. So super easy, just add it to your cart and shop. And that again is up to 70% off. So I do see everybody's getting notifications now. So um, I know we're a little bit early, but any of you who go out on Friday nights, we will beat that time here by going a little early. So it's almost six o'clock here in New Jersey. And uh, we're just gonna do some holiday crafting. I actually put up my tree today. I have not decorated it yet, but, but I did drag it out from the basement and get it upstairs. So at least the first step is done. So uh, I'm actually gonna probably use this little craft in my own house, but um, it's just a fun kind of craft I was thinking about. Um, a lot of you who've watched my tutorials, I like to sometimes be practical in my crafts as well. So for instance, when I did the tutorial on the candle toppers, to me it was practical because we have candles all around our house and why not make them pretty and make them part of the design. So that was something that was practical to me. So this one um, is gonna use a stocking and to me it's kind of practical because, um, you know, we have empty stockings hanging around until Christmas, if you do Christmas or if you do the holidays like that. Uh, you know, not everyone does stockings, obviously not everyone sells, celebrates Christmas. But those of you who do put stockings around, obviously they're empty um, until you fill them with treats or whatever. And so we're actually gonna fill ours with a bouquet, but it's gonna be a removable bouquet. So I'm just gonna show you how to make a flat backed bouquet that can slide in and out of your stocking. Um, and it's also a cute way to even give a gift. If you give gifts um, like bouquets and things like that to people, you can kind of put it in the stocking and then they can decide what they wanna do with it after too. Hey there, I see you. Okay, so here's the supplies um, we have. So obviously a stocking, and I did add a little sparkly bow on mine where the little hanger thing is. So just to make them a little extra sparkly. So I did add um, a bow. Uh, we need, hey Trisha, uh, we need um, like either floral tape or electrical tape or vinyl tape, hi Brittany. Um, and that is to wrap our bouquet, okay? I'm not gonna actually do like a full stem wrap on it, but we do need to be able to tape our things together. And I just wanted to show you a brand I use. Hi, Kelly. Um, and it's Scotch brand electrical tape. And the reason I like this electrical tape particularly is it's not like super stiff and thick. It's actually very stretchy kind of more like a real floral tape is. And I like to use electrical tape more than I like to use floral tape. Because uh, floral tape is sometimes difficult to work with. I'm not really good at it. It doesn't stay sticky for me or anything like that. Um, so I do use electrical tape. I get this from the Home Depot. This is Scotch brand. And I'm just gonna, let me peel off a little piece. I'm gonna show you. Some electrical tape is very, I'm just gonna this with my teeth, is very like thick and stiff. Hey Callie. But I just want to show you, see, it's like super, super duper flexible and gummy. <laughs> so it's not thick, thick, um, but it is super sticky and it's an easy way to stretch over, um, easier than floral tape in my opinion. Any of you who've been working with floral tape for a long time, obviously that might not be such a big deal for you, but for me, I never could get it to stick. So I use electrical tape to make bouquets and again, we are going to make a flat backed bouquet that's gonna fit in this stocking and obviously it's removable. Um, I am also gonna add some flowers and I just wanted to have them not prepared first because I wanna show some of you who might be new to Sola um, how we stem them with stem covers. Hi Nancy. So I'm gonna do that real fast for you. So I've got wire. The wire I have happens to be white. It doesn't really matter because I'm using stem covers. Um, these are just uh, 18 gauge and I cut them in half. Again, because I'm using stem covers, I don't need a full length wire. And um, so I'm just cutting it in half. 
Hey. Yeah, me too, Callie. I always had to do that too. So I'm just gonna put a drop of glue on the back of my flower. I'm gonna slide my wire in, and then I'm gonna put my stem color. Our old batch that were a brighter green. We have the more realistic. Sorry guys, my internet's been really funky lately. So, sorry I just went in and out. Um, so, I don't know if you even saw that, so let me just do another one. All right, I'm gonna do another one. We're gonna put some glue, blob of glue. I'm gonna put my wire in. This does not wanna go in. Wow, this is tied tightly. <laughs> Hey, okay, wait, I've never had um, a solo flower bite me so much. Hold on. I need to start a little hole on this guy. And then I'll have to re-blob it again. Okay. Re-blob. Then my wire. And then I'm going to put the stem cover over the wire and into my blob of glue. Okay, so it's one quick process wire then cover into the flower okay so i'm going to stem the rest of them again uh, we have stem covers on our website they are the darker green though these are our old ones um, when we didn't really have a choice in what color and then we got the nice dark ones when which is also good for the holiday the dark ones are nice um, when we were able to choose what color we wanted so here we are so let me just finish stemming a few of these that i know i'm going to want to use I do like me some skin flowers for holiday because I feel like it goes very much with pine cones and things like that. So I do use a lot of skin flowers in my holiday ones. Um, and I also went for kind of the spikier type flowers this time instead of like rosy flowers. I always feel like winter and fall and stuff, uh, you know, the spikier look is kind of more interesting. Yeah, Jackie, we love that. This is when, you know, we had to just practice <laughs> ordering stem covers and we uh, weren't able to really pick what color we wanted back then. But now we've got the dark green ones, which are super uh, realistic compared to obviously just wire over your, in your flower. So um, they are on our website under supplies. And we also got, uh, again, the sale that's going on, it's up to 70%. Yes, I love the dark green too. What I tend to do is, because I have some of these light ones left over, and sometimes I do need light, because there are things that have light colored stems, like a calla lily, like in the real wild, um, they are a light green. So there are certain flowers I do use the lighter ones for. I also use them for springier type arrangements. This is gonna be fine as well because it's like Christmassy green and plus the stems are gonna be covered so it's not a big deal. So again, I'm just finishing doing this and I wanted to wait for on screen so that I could show you how to do it. Now, I know I get this question a lot. Do I use a stem cover on every flower? And I do. I do because I don't ever want to look and see the wire coming out of the flower. It just, you can do it where you put it on a couple or you can do it where you just cover but I use it on every flower. I just can't help myself. I love to see a stem coming out of the flower as opposed to a wire. So it's just uh, my preference. But you can, do, if you don't have stem covers, you can still do this craft. And for sure, uh, it won't be a big deal because um, they're gonna be covered anyway. But I did just wanna show some of you who are new how to do the whole stem cover situation. So that's why I'm using them for this. But again, you don't have to because most of your flowers are gonna be in the stocking. Now, when you have a flower like this, this is the Roma Rose. This is my favorite curled rose. Um, you're just gonna trim the back down a little bit because sometimes when they have to tie it up and they need to you know, keep a grip on it, it gets a little bit too big. And uh, you can trim that off before you stem your flowers. So here we go. We've got all of our flowers. We got them all stem covered. I'll put these to the side. Okay, let me move these out of the way now because we're gonna use these a little bit later. So here's the key to building our stocking. We want it to be stable, so we need something that goes all the way to the bottom. 
but we also want to make sure that everything starts sprouting out obviously at the top of our stocking so what we're going to do is we're going to take our back piece first and we're going to measure it now this is like sticks and they're kind of crystally and frosty looking so i'm going to slide that down in and measure it for a second so this hits the bottom let me show you of my stocking hair Ooh, it's taking my hair out um, so I want to say to myself, like, is this too high? Is this too tall? Or do I want it shorter? You know, wh where do I want this to go? Because I want it, because it's my back piece, to touch the very bottom of the stocking, because that will give it stability. So I want it a little bit shorter, because I don't need it coming out that far. Especially if you hang your stockings on, like, a fireplace or something. So now we're going to see where it ends up. And we're going to use this first piece as our guide to everything else that we're putting on. All right, so it touches it, okay. So this is now gonna be the height, the tallest point of our arrangement, okay? So I've got that. I'm gonna take my stocking and for a moment put it out of the way and I'm gonna build the base of my flat back. Okay, so I have this green or anything. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so because this is going to be our highest point, everything we add on top of it is going to be obviously a little shorter. So I've got this stuff and it kind of cascades out. It's like evergreens with some berry looking things on it and it cascades a little bit out to the side. I'm going to cut this top one off. I don't need it so tall. Hey! These are good for craft shows too. They get um, like a tent, you know, they, they can draw attention. Okay, so if that's my bottom, I want to make sure that once I tape it, so I'm going to tape this together, that I'm going to trim the bottom of the stem off. Okay, so I'm going to tape this up. And then I'm going to measure to see where it goes in my stocking. Okay, so again, this is electrical tape and it's a very stretchy kind, which I love. All right, it's a really strong, it's going to have to go for it, probably, let's say. It's a really strong uh, branch. Let me see if I can break it. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a strong one. All right, so again, we're never gonna go lower than this point because that is the bottom of our stocking. So I put that layer on top and I'm just gonna check to see where we're at with the mouth of my stocking. Yeah, that's good. So see how the pieces are gonna come out right at the top? Okay, so now we know where we want to stay in terms of our height, okay? I know it looks kind of silly right now because it's kind of raggedy and not full, but I promise you, we are going to fill it. You know me and fillers, so I have no problem adding stuff here. Um, I do have some fern, and the thing about fern is that it's not necessarily a Christmas green, but I love to use it as one because it's kind of woodsy, kind of evergreeny, and it gives a nice shape. So again, I want to make sure I'm using this as my guide, and I'm going to tape it. So I leave it flat on my flat back bouquets. It's easy just to leave it flat on the table and build from the bottom up. Okay, so I got a good, nice, tapey thing on it. And as you can see, I've got my kind of base here. And I'm just gonna go in now with a couple more greens. And I've got these little greens, and I'm gonna separate them. I'm gonna be able to intertwine them in the flowers too. So I'm gonna actually pull some of these off. So I have a more layered look you don't want to just lay even on a flat back 
you don't you want to incorporate all the fillers in all the different layers because you don't want to have it where it just looks like uh, I always think of like you ever have like those what do they call them like those you know bean dip salads where it's like sour cream and then guacamole and then beans you don't want to have it like that we want to incorporate all of our greens to all of our layers so the base and the back those three little layers that's fine but when we go into these more you know intricate fillers here we want to incorporate them not just in one spot okay now i've got these berries um and i've got this style of berries and i've got this style of berries. so this style of berries i'm going to put in my little line up here and then everything else we're going to add after our flowers okay so i'm going to put this here and then we're also going to just double check to make sure that we are still on track of the lining up of the mouth of the stocking and the bouquet thing here so let's just tape this back up And then we're gonna insert it into our stocking and make sure that we're we're good at where we're at. Again, we want the bottom of our longest piece to touch the bottom of our stocking. And then we want our fun stuff to start bulging out basically right at the mouth of our stocking. Okay. So do you see how this is spraying me in the face, but you see how it goes right like that. Okay. Now it's hard because I want to be able to show you it like hanging. Hold on, let me see if I can pull through. And obviously when you hang your stockings, it's going to be leaning on, you know, a back of something too. Okay. So now we've got this going on. We are going to add our flowers. And some of our flowers are gonna be more in the background. So I'm gonna put them towards the back. And so I'm just gonna slide their stem behind. And then some are gonna be more in front. So basically I just wanna incorporate even the flowers into all the different layers as well. Again, I don't want that kind of look of just slapped onto each other. So let me slide this in. So see how I'm just gonna go from the back and slide it in. I did choose to use all raw flowers because um, of all the red that's going on in the fillers, but you can use other colors. You can use golds and silvers and metallics as well. Um, as well as, um, again, we did add in a bunch of these skinned flowers as well. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm layering okay. And as you can see, I haven't really taped it yet. I'm just laying it on. Now, once I've got my back layer, I'm gonna tape it up and then I can add my front layer. So I'm gonna tape this where it is. Again, sometimes with these flat backs, it's just easy to press them down on the table and not actually like need to pick them up and go all the way around and all that fun stuff. Now, I do see some more people joining us just now. Um, we do have our sale going on. It's up to 70% off. No code needed. Uh, it is while supplies last uh, and it's for a short time only. So if you wanna get that 70% off, up to 70% off, um, go grab those now. All right, so I've got my back layer and now I'm going to do my front layer flowers. So what I'm gonna do is just pile them in front of each other. And again, you can bend these because they're on a nice wire. I wanted this to kind of be my centerpiece flower. And we're gonna go in with greens too, so don't worry quite yet about, sorry, I gotta put these little berry things. I'm gonna tape them so they kind of stick 
in the front so they don't look like wings. I'm going to tape this up and then we're going to add our final greeneries. All right. And I've also got some gold, I think they call them like tings or something like that. Um, I forget what it's called, honestly, Kelly. If you go under skin flowers, um, sometimes I get things in assortments because I do buy a lot of assortments that I don't actually know all their names because we have 3 million flowers. But um, I can look it up and let you know as soon as I'm done with this. But I love the look of that so far. Okay, now let me put this in my stocking. And we're gonna just make sure that our flowers are in the right spot. Okay. All right. All right. So the mouth of my stocking touches the bottom of my front flower. Okay, now let's fill in with the greenery so it's not just a bunch of stems and whatever. And we're gonna go back and take some of those greeneries from those back rows and we're gonna just incorporate it into the front. Again, with these flat backed guys, leave them flat on the back. That way you can just build that up. All right, so now I've got these kind of berries. Thanks, Judy. All right, I've got my berries. Again, I'm just laying them flat. And then I've got these guys, which I like because they're wire wire, and I can kind of just aim them whichever way I want. I can curl them. Okay, so I'm gonna add this actually a little bit to the back, and then some to the front, and then I'll stick my gold things in last. So I'm gonna spray this out to the side. These gold things won't be all over me. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, and I'm gonna tape it. You know, and sometimes I get flowers from a while ago that I don't use for a long time. So it could very well be something I've gotten in an assortment like a long time ago. Um, because I do keep special boxes of just things I use for tutorials and sometimes I don't get to use them for a long time. So, all right, now let me add some of these suckers in the front. And again, because we're doing a flat back, I'm literally just going to lay it on the table where I want them to go. And I will tape it just like that. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> Sometimes I never know if it's something that, you know, we had for a limited time when it's not something I use on a daily basis, but I do love it. Um, especially for Christmas things, especially even for like using it like a star. So as you can see, look, flat on the back. And then I've got my stuff in the front. Again, my, my tallest point is what's gonna hold it there, actually this one, this one gets cut, okay? Because these guys are my tallest point. Uh, I don't know if I need more green, maybe just down in that center part. And then I'm gonna add my, these gold thingamabobs to it. And this is basically how I make flat pack uh, bouquets, even for things like weddings and, some, and stuff. So now you know my secret. Basically, you lay them on a table and you build it that way. Keep it flat. That's how you can make a flat back. <laughs> and it's nice because you don't have to grip it with your hand. No hand cramps of squeezing fillers and things like that. 
Yes, Kelly, that's what I'm saying. You know, and, and even if you're, if you are a holiday bride, or even if it's, you know, um, if it's a uh, winter, and not just necessarily a Christmas wedding, but if you are a winter bride, this would be a cute place to store your bouquet when you're done with your wedding. Uh, my tape, here we go. All right, I'm gonna tape this, and then we're gonna add our little gold thingies. I think they're called like tings or something, like ting ting or something. All right, that's what they're called. I got mine at the at-home store. They have this gold stuff. Yeah, I mean, look how fast it is to even to make a bouquet. Okay, so I'm gonna add my gold, guys. I'm gonna make sure their stem doesn't go. Yes, Luann, I know a lot of people who do stockings for the door as well. They are Cali. That wild look always looks nice with a, with a flat back. Okay, so I'm gonna lay again. I'm gonna lay my things out flat on the table. Let me get everything out of the way here. That's not in it. And I'm gonna set up all the things that I want in it. And then we tape again. So these guys, let's see, I want them to come out this side. All right, and then I'm gonna do a couple shorter ones in the front. I'm gonna tape it before I trim them. Oh, that would be cute. All right, I'm gonna do these in the front. Okay, and I'm gonna just tape it. And again, like these flat packs are just so nice because you don't have to like hold it and all that, you know, squeezing of your hand. I know that I was doing so many bouquets at one time that I was getting hand cramps so bad just from the squeezing of the stems and all that kind of stuff. But these are easy because you can just lay them and all you have to do is do the twisting, but that's easy. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting squeezed here by all these things. Okay, so I'm gonna find my bottom. And again, keep these as long as your bottom piece. Don't go really short with them because you wanna give stability to the bottom part of your stocking. Okay, so these little guys, it's okay that they're in there. You could tape it all the way down if you want. I don't need to do that. You could, if you wanna like use it in a vase at some point too, you could always do a stem wrap like twine or gold ribbon or something like that. But this is the bouquet itself. Again, it's a flat back bouquet. I'm gonna stick it in my stocking to show you guys. It's hard to show because I can't hang it. I wish I had like a little fake mantle here. Although I will hang it on my fireplace and take a picture later. But again, this is nice to do to fill up the empty stockings, um, you know, until you put treats in them. Um, and also, you know, just as a decoration. These little gold things are fighting me, so I gotta squeeze them a little bit. Here we go. All right, so let's get down to the bottom. These gold things are wanting to fight me. <laughs> Thank you. It's beautiful if these gold things won't. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay, so again, it's gonna hang. Let me try to hold it with the hanging thing. It's gonna hang with a back. Let me see if I can do it on my wall here, just to show you. Just to show you here. So. I have nothing to hang it on, but <laughs> you wanna get a look. Okay. Here, let me see if I can hold the loop. I wish I had like a little hook. I guess it would be like to the side like that a little bit. Okay, so again, this fits in it. Because it's nice and bulky down there, it fits the stocking and it doesn't get like floppy. And it sits right in. If you go too short, what will happen is it could keep sinking in unless you have a wide enough top for it. But you can do it like in, an, in or out. Uh, again, you can put it on a front door. 
Um, you can take the bouquet out, you know, when you fill the stockings and use it in a vase. Okay. Um, but either way, I just thought it could double do because a lot of times people try to build things in their bases and they're not removable. You can, Carol, you can. But that's what I was just saying. If you're wanting to be able to take it out, that was the only reason why I said let's just try to do it where it's a removable one so that it double does as a you know centerpiece or in there. But you can certainly, for sure, I actually have pine cones somewhere. I was going to put pine cones in, but I dropped them somewhere. <laughs> but but um, you definitely can fill this. A lot of people, you can even put like, you know, whatever, cotton just to fluff up the thing and stick it and then have like, even like, um, what do you call them, like the packing peanuts. You can stick your bouquet in and put packing peanuts so it looks full on the bottom. But anyway, you understand the point of how you can do this now. Again, you just needed a back uh, that is flat, you see. It's a flat back bouquet and that can be put uh, right in there. It was super easy. Think about how quickly we made this bouquet. Yeah, you can even use it for a wedding bouquet. <laughs> but that's how easy and how fast bouquets can be. And so if you are just starting with Sola, don't be scared. Uh, if you're a bride who's like, well, I'm not sure I'm crafty, but this sounds like a cool idea. Don't get worried. You can do it. Um, look how easy that was. A bouquet in a few minutes. Uh, if I wasn't talking, it would have really been a few minutes. So, uh, and that's about it. And I'm going to hang this up because I'm just starting tonight to hang my decor and I'm excited about it. So if you need any flowers, uh, they are up to 70% off right now. No code needed on lovesoulflowers.com. And I do suggest you guys try some skin flowers, especially for the holidays, um, because they do have a pine cone kind of feel and it always looks like kind of cool in these holiday type arrangements. So that is it. All right, guys, have a good night and a good weekend.